Hello and welcome to a new episode of Lockzone Explained, the video format for all tech enthusiasts, Lockzone partners and those wanting to become automation installers. In today's video, I'd like to talk about a new feature of the Lockzone Config and App 13, tunable white and the so-called human-centric lighting, in short, HCL. But what do these terms actually mean? That's exactly what we're gonna clarify right now. Let's start with tunable white. First, we need to briefly explain the term color temperature. The color temperature is used as a metric to describe the color impression of light sources. So, tunable white means that the color temperature of light can be adjusted individually. After all, white light isn't always white light. The color temperature is measured in Kelvin. And the higher the Kelvin number, the bluer or colder the light. And on the other hand, the smaller the number, the warmer the light. A new feature of the Loxone Configant App 13 is that a new actuator type is supported by the Loxone RGBW dimmers on the one hand and by our lighting controller function block on the other hand. The Loxone RGBW dimmer has four PWM outputs for dimming LED strips or lamps. And in the config, you can now define the actuator type. Here, the type tunable white is newly available. You can, for instance, control two tunable white LED strips independently, since the two outputs are needed for one tunable white strip one for cool white and one for warm white. If only one tunable white LED strip is connected, the other two channels can be used individually. To match this, of course, we are now offering tunable white LED strips, which provide a color spectrum from 2700 to 6300 Kelvin. This color spectrum must be defined in the properties of the RGBW dimmer. So, to sum up again, set up the RGBW dimmer, either via tree or air, all the info on that can be found in our online documentation. Then you'll set the actuator type to tunable white in the properties. And then, and last, you set the color temperature for cool white and warm white, depending on the illuminant or LED strip. Done. But what's the point of adjusting the light temperature anyway? Well, color temperature has a significant impact on our sense of well-being and can even affect productivity. After all, the sunlight also changes over the course of the day. Early in the morning, the light temperature is in the warm white range, so around 2700 Kelvin. Throughout the day, the blue proportion increases. We then speak of neutral white, which is between 3300 and 5300 K. And around noon, the blue component increases again. We now speak of daylight white, which starts at 5300 K. This course of daylight influences our inner clock. And the positive effect is particularly noticeable in commercial areas, such as healthcare facilities and in the office. Employees are more awake, more focused and more attentive in general. Patients feel better and recover faster. But even in your own home, the gradient of the light offers a significant gain in comfort. For example, the warm white light in the evening hours supports a healthy and restful sleep. And that's exactly why we have integrated human-centric lighting in the Loxone Config and App 13. I'll now show you how the whole thing is set up in the Loxone config. A double click on the lighting controller is enough and you can perform the necessary changes under the tab Daylight Control. First, you can set the time when the gradient of the light temperature should start and end. It can either start with sunrise and end at sunset or you can define the time individually. In addition, you can also define the type of daylight per output. This setting affects the temperature curve of the lights. If you select indirect lighting, cooler colors will be used. And last but not least, you can set the minimum and maximum light temperature in the properties of the function block. The same settings as in the actuator itself should be used here. And how can you set this up now? Well, this can be defined directly in the Loxone config or, as in our example, with the help of the Loxone app. You create a new lighting scene and simply activate the human-centered lighting function in the respective lighting circuit. In addition, you can then define the brightness. If this lighting scene is activated automatically via presence detector or by pressing a button, the light temperature is regulated according to the course of the day. So what are you waiting for? Increase the comfort of your customers and set up human-centered lighting in your projects with the new Loxone Config and App 13. You are passionate about home and building automation and you would like to work professionally in this field. Join our worldwide partner network now with just a few clicks completely free of charge and without any obligations. And if you like this video, we would appreciate a thumbs up, as always. And to make sure you never miss a video again, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.